Have you ever wondered how you can create an awesome video intro from just text in After Effects? Using this technique, you can create different kinds of intros and customize them according to your needs. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In today's video, you'll learn how to animate text and create an impressive intro animation. I'll also share some pro tips along the way, so make sure to watch till the end. All right, let's dive into After Effects. So first, I create a new composition by clicking this box. Name this comp as Main Comp. I set the full HD resolution for this composition. Next, I select the text tool, then increase the text size to around 220 pixels. Now you can write anything. For example, I'm typing gaming. For your reference, I'm using this font. Now I align this text to the center of the composition. Right now our text is in a single layer and I want each letter in a different layer. So first, I change this text into a shape layer. Now we have two layers and we can delete the text layer. Now select the shape layer and duplicate it five times because we have six letters in gaming text. Then rename each shape one by one. Then select the first shape called G and open it. Under contents, you will find all letters. I selected all letters except the first G and delete them so I got only the G letter in this shape. I hope you understand how to separate each letter into a different shape layer. So I repeat this process quickly with the rest of the letters. Now I successfully separated all the letters. Next, select all the letters, then hold Ctrl and double click on this tool so the anchor points of each layer align center. Now open the position properties, then add keyframes. Add additional keyframes at the 30th frame and at the 130 mark as well. Now go back to the 30th frame and adjust the position of the letters like this. Next, go to 130 seconds, then select three letters on the right side and change their position like this. Do the same thing with the remaining left side letters. Now one thing to notice in the composition is these annoying unwanted handles. If you find this, first you have to remove this, otherwise it will mess up the animation. Let me show you how to remove it. Press G to switch to the pen tool, then hover over this point so the pen tool shape changes like this, then click this point and the handles are gone. Next, select another layer and repeat this process. Now our animation looks good. Next, move the time indicator around 3 seconds and add new keyframes. Both are the same keyframes, so the text is not moving when I move the time indicator between these keyframes. Next, move the time indicator forward a bit and copy the keyframes which are placed at the 30th frame and paste them here. Do this with all the layers one by one. Once again, move the time indicator forward a bit, then copy the keyframes which are placed at the first frame, then paste them here. Do this with all the layers. Nice. Let's select all the layers and easy ease those keyframes. Then go to the graph editor. Select this point and move the handle this way. Then select this point and move the handle another way. Now this one is a bit different. Watch and do as I am doing and the last one like this. Check the animation. It looks good. Now close the graph editor and place the time indicator at the 30th frame on those keyframes. Then I open the ruler. Let me expand the view. All right, select the rectangle tool. Make sure fill is on and stroke is off. I forgot to add a guideline. 
First add guidelines so that it helps us to create a perfect rectangle as we want. When you add a vertical line, make sure you add it like this, over the text. And now we can make a perfect rectangle. Nice. Quickly rename this layer as Reveal. Also, align the anchor point to the center of this shape. Then, open its scale properties and open the expression window. To open it, hold Alt and click on this stopwatch. Now paste this expression here. You can download this expression by the link in the description below. You can also find the expression in the description below. Alright, let's set up this expression. First, click in this window to expand it. Now, only two values need to be changed here. First is B. Change this to M. Because the rectangle touches the M. Then change D. Simply replace it with I. Because the right edge of the rectangle touches the I letter. Note this point. Layer names should match the letter names. Now click anywhere to confirm. Let's see what's happening when I play the animation. You can see that the rectangle behaves according to the M and I letter movements. But as you can see, it's not perfect yet. If I place this layer below all the layers, we can understand that it's not perfect yet. But don't worry, we have a smart solution for this. First, place the time indicator at the 30th frame. Then select the rectangle tool. Let me change the color as well. Now I create another shape which covers the M. Rename this layer as 1. Then duplicate this layer and place it above the I letter like this. Next, select the layer 1 which is on top of the M and parent this to the M. Then select layer 2, parent this to the I. Now select both layers and hide them. Click this shy icon and hide them as well. Next, select the Reveal layer and go to the Effects panel and search for Set Matte. Simply apply this to the layer. Change the matte layer to Layer 1. And check this Invert box. Now you can see we fixed the left side issue. Next, duplicate this effect and change the matte layer to Layer 2. Let's check the animation. Now the rectangle movements are smooth and clear. Alright, so place the time indicator where the text merges together and trim the layer like this. Do the same thing at the end of the animation. Nice, we almost finished the complex part of the tutorial. Alright, let's make a new composition. Name this comp as Video and click OK. It's time to add a video. Let me add a video footage into After Effects. Next, I added this video into the timeline. It's an NFS game trailer by the way, you can use your own footage. Next, select the layer and pre-compose it. Name this comp as Video Footage. Check this box and click OK. Now go back to our main comp and add this video composition below the reveal layer. It's a big sized video. So let's change its size to fit the rectangle shape. Nice. Next open the matte options and select alpha matte. So the video is visible in the rectangle shape. Next, select all the layers and pre-compose them. Name this comp as animation. Check this box and click OK. Next, go to the effects panel and search for glow effects. Simply apply this to the layer. Go to the effects control panel, change the glow threshold to 100, glow radius to around 5. Lastly, change channels to alpha. By applying this, you can see a thin line appear on the rectangle shape and it gives a feel that the video is in that box. Now check the animation. It looks good already but we can make it more interesting by adding a matching background. First, let's create a solid layer. Name it Background. Place it below the logo. Then go to the Effects panel and search for Ramp. Simply apply this to the layer. 
Change the color according to your requirement. It's time to add another footage, which you can download by the link in the description below. Simply add this footage below the animation layer. Now change the blending mode to multiply. So it blends very nicely with the background we created. Let's check the animation. Nice, it's looking so good. Lastly, I want to show you how you can convert any video footage into 2D footage. Go back to the video composition, then search for an effect called Tint. Simply apply this to the layer. Then search for another effect called Find Edges. Apply that too. Now you can change the black and white look by clicking this invert checkbox. I leave it as white to match the white letters. Now go back to the main composition and you can see that the animation looks completely different. It's totally up to you whether you want to use actual footage or turned into 2D video. By this technique, you can make different kinds of intros according to your preferences. If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, consider buying me a coffee. Your support makes a big difference and helps me keep creating awesome content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.